Hey guys, it's Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I have two babies. I have a 15 month old Asher and a two month old River. So I needed a monitor, baby monitor for two babies. And this is the one that we decided to get. And I just thought I would do a little review. So if you're in the same situation and you need a monitor, a dual monitor that has a split screen and two cameras and that kind of thing, this is a great option. We really enjoyed it. This is the Hubble Connected. Um, so this one is Nursery View Pro Twin. So like I said, it comes with two cameras and then it also comes with the um, like monitor screen, whatever you want to call this little device. I really wanted a monitor that wasn't just going to be on my phone. Um, I don't really even understand how moms make that work. Um, apparently they don't sit and look at their phones like I do, but I wanted to be able to look at my phone, watch YouTube videos, go on Instagram, whatever, while also being able to see my babies on this screen and hear them without worrying about it. So. Um, this is actually the second monitor that we've had, even though our firstborn is only 15 months. And that's because our last one, the buttons started to like not work very well. They were kind of sticky. And when we reached out to the company, they said, um, the warranty was already gone because it was over a year, but they could give us a discount towards another product. So this is the one we went with based on price point and a little bit of research and reviews. So just to talk basics about the product, it does come with the two little cameras. I actually really like the like shape and size of these cameras because they kind of have like a taller, almost like a neck and then the camera. Um, and something about that, I don't know, I just think it's a good height and um, gives you a better view of the kids. And it seems like the camera just can move around like a ton, which is really nice. You can put it anywhere uh, and, well, you can't put it anywhere and see your kids, but you can put it there and then be able to move it around as your baby moves in the crib. With a 15 month old, you know, they're moving all around the crib. He's crawling around, he's moving in his sleep, he's trying to find the pacifier at night, he's standing up on the side of the crib when he's ready for us to pick him up and staring at the camera. So it's good to be able to move it all around. And um, then the most important part, if you're looking for a dual monitor, is of course the, this little device, this little actual monitor screen, because this has a couple of different options. So what I mostly use is the um, double camera where it like rotates back and forth. Sorry if I'm not very technical, but so it'll um, have this little option where it rotates between the two cameras. So you can see um, it says camera one, camera two. So it just switched over to River's camera and she is in there asleep right now. But they also have an option that is split screen. So I can just go into the settings here and go over to this split screen. And now it's on the split screen so you can see both kids at the same time. What I don't use very much is the split screen. Like I'm not sure exactly how to do audio where it's coming from both. I'm guessing it can switch back and forth, but if you see there's like a purple box around. So right now it's on rivers and then I can switch it like back and forth, that purple box, and that means that it's audio for that camera. So I'm not sure exactly all the settings to be honest. I haven't had this a super long time and I'm the type of person that when I find a setting that I know works for me and I'm enjoying it. I don't really try to like explore the whole device. So I'm sure there's ton more settings in here that you can use. Um, there's this whole thing. I haven't looked through everything, um, but I just know, you know, this works really well for me. And I love that it has the option to do the split screen, even though most of the time I just do the rotating camera. Um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy this overall. That's basically all I have to say about like the actual device. It has this little 
antenna type thing. It has the little um, stand, kick stand, so that it can just be propped up anywhere. Um, this is, of course, where you move the camera around. She dropped her pacifier. Hopefully she'll go back to sleep. Um, this is where you can talk through the camera. This is to turn the screen off and on, and it does have a setting where you can have it turn off automatically um, any amount of time you want. So we have it set at 30 minutes. It's just to save battery, I think, but I actually turn the screen off a lot because I'm like, I get stressed if I see like movement or something. Um, so I'd rather just have the screen off and just hear for a cry. But, um, and then this is the setting menu and this is the power button. So you just hold it to turn it off and on. Something I also like better about this one than our last monitor is our last one would have like an ad pop up. I don't think this one does. Like every time you turn it on and it's like, oh my gosh, hurry up, just get out of the way. Like I just need to see my baby. So I'm, I appreciate that this one does not. It still does, you know, take a little bit for it to power up, turn on, but um, there's no like annoying ad or anything like that in the way. It just turns on. You can see your baby. You can adjust the volume right away. The volume adjustment is right here and the speaker is on the back. Oh, and the charger is over here on the side, if you're interested in all those little details. So that is the device itself. Um, I think as far as a review, I've already said it, but we do really enjoy this monitor. There are lots of amazing pros about it. We love the options of the split screen, the rotating screen, um, the audio is really good so we can turn it up all the way and I can still hear it like outside in the wind or whatever. It's very good audio. Um, the distance is pretty good. It says on the box that it can uh, reach up to 1000 feet and that it's a secure connection. I know that's something that people worry about with monitors a lot, especially like over the Wi-Fi and things like that. So I don't know, we've always had ones where we have this little device and it just seems very secure. It's not just on your phone. Um, and I haven't read any reviews that would say anything otherwise about this. When I was looking at the box before this video, I saw on the back, apparently they actually have a Hubble club so there's some kind of like baby growth and development tracking and all this stuff on an app so that's an added benefit that we don't use or take advantage of but um, yeah I would say the only cons would be maybe like just a setting I haven't figured out between the audio um, going back and forth on the split screen setting and then also just like figuring out how to control the different things. So it's really weird how you get into the, not the split screen, but the rotating screen, which is what we use. So you have to like press this middle button several times um, to like get exactly what you want, I feel like. And it it's just not like, it's kind of counterintuitive in my mind. It's not like super straightforward because I would think like if I press this, then it's not gonna rotate. I don't know. It's not a con. I just thought it took us a little bit to figure out everything. And again, I'm not the type of person to like go through the manual and figure it out that way. So that's my own fault. Um, but I just think it's kind of funny that like you press the middle button to rotate through the cameras and it just doesn't always like get to the setting I want very quickly and easily. I just have to like keep pressing that button. So that's a little bit annoying, but um, as far as like the connection and everything, there have been a couple times where I've been outside and since Asher's room is in the front of the house and I was in the backyard, it seemed like it wasn't the best connection. So that was a little bit annoying. Um, but of course that depends on like how big your house is and everything and it still did work but we have had like a couple connection issues if we're in the back of our backyard. <laughs> so there's that to think about. And then the charging, um, we have it charging like all night just so that it doesn't go out, but it does seem to drain, um, I wouldn't say quickly. It kind of, it's 
honestly what's weird about it is that it seems like it's different every day like I feel like my kids are napping like basically the same amount every day and still some days like right now it's only one bar down and other days I have to charge it in the middle of the day so there might be something going on with the battery that I'm not fully aware of so that's kind of concerning like when it does start beeping uh, but like I said some days it's totally fine so not really sure again maybe read some other reviews about the battery life another little con it does sometimes make like this weird noise because we have a sound machine going all the time so you always have that constant noise and then obviously like the baby cries so you have that but it sometimes it'll like almost i think it cuts the audio and then comes back on so it sounds like something's going on so then i look but she's like completely still so i'm not sure what that's all about i think that's kind of um normal i would say i feel like that happened with our other monitor too but um that is something to be aware of is just kind of stressful when you like oh uh they're moving or something's going on and then you look and it's like oh they're totally fine i don't know what that noise was and that happens quite a bit honestly that's probably like the most annoying thing but i would just say i'm like almost having a hard time coming up with cons i'm trying to do an honest good review but i'm not super picky about this i would just say it's a good monitor it has worked very well for us and i really appreciate um how clear it is how easy it is the good volume and all of that so i don't want to just keep rambling i feel like i'm saying a lot of the same stuff that basically overall this is a great monitor for our family and i'm sure it would be for yours as well this video is in no way like sponsored or connected to them they don't even know i'm making this video i just wanted to review this i did get a comment requesting for this review um and i thought it'd be helpful for other people if you're searching on the internet for a good monitor i definitely recommend this one and i would love to answer any questions you may have in the comments i hope this video was informative and helpful for you definitely make sure to subscribe if you haven't already my typical videos are day in the life vlogs but i also enjoy doing hauls and sit down informational videos like this um, my hope and goal would be to help encourage new moms and answer any questions based on my experience um, now that I am a second time mom pretty quick <laughs> turnaround time to go from one to two but um, yeah I'd really appreciate you subscribing and following along and I will see you next time bye